Jordes here, and I'm going to try and help you take down the psychopath Brandon in Dead Rising 2. Okay, as with all psychopaths, you want to go in with a few healing items, and with Brandon, you probably want to go for a mediumly fast weapon such as the Nail Bat, which is my personal favourite. Okay, Brandon's got a couple of attacks. Usually, it's all rushing, and he'll do it. He'll either swipe you like that, whereas you want to keep on running. Or he will do a jump attack like that, which leaves him vulnerable for a few seconds and you can get a couple of hits in. If you've got the roll ab ability, then that's what you want to be doing. Otherwise, just keep on running away and hopefully he'll miss you. It can be quite irritating, Brandon. Because even when you're running away, he still hits you sometimes. Um, every once in a while he'll jump over into the stalls and just stay down here away from the stalls otherwise they'll jump on top of you until he jumps back and then carry on again and um, what you can do if you uh, have got enough health you can um, attack him just as he jumps back over chances are if you do that he will hit you um, after you've hit him a few times but if you've got more health than him it is an option Especially when you're unable to avoid him, as I am right now. It can be frustrating um, since he keeps on jumping back over the stalls, but overall, Brand is not a very it's, it's not the most difficult psychopath. As long as you've got um, a few healing items on hand, um, you shouldn't have too many problems. You've just got to be patient. And here you go, if you can get a few good hits on him, you can really take down his health quickly. This is why weapons such as the nail bat come in handy, or um, a broadsword is actually very good as well. Um, if you can go for quicker weapons if you've uh, got lower health, but um, yeah, there you go, and that's Brandon defeated. Thanks for watching.